Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flex. I am going to kind of not redo but finish up. Um, I was working on the video with um, Kendall last night and we were showing you some gable boxes we were making. And I said I wanted to show you the finished product. Um, what I did is I showed you on the I did a tape video today how I did a screenshot. Um, for those of you that really like the the um, look and feel or the the die cuts, the layered like you get with the Cricut machine. Um, and I was saying on the video how I really I like that too. However, I have a real real issue with all the tearing and I was saying on my last video that when you have the little tiny pieces such as the eyes and this little tiny piece in her mouth and the um, bracelet and stuff when you get really small pieces like that cutting out um, they get they, they tear up a lot and not only do they tear a lot they um, also are a, a real nuisance to put together and um, I personally I don't I don't like them and they're a lot of work to put together because you are talking um, the eyelashes are one piece the little whites of the eyes are another piece this little piece inside the beak or inside the mouth here is another piece the bracelet the hands there are a lot of pieces so what I do is I take all the little pieces that tear real bad and print them out as one um, with black background, tape it to a black background to get the real layered look and then I did the layer with the dress. So I ran them through what's really really easy when you're putting these pieces together make it really simple is when you run the little tiny pieces through the Xyron um, sticker makers. Um, I do not buy the, the triangle that this slides into because I think it's an absolute waste. I just use the refill and put my pieces in there. I just wanted to show you, Kendall did a lot of these put together um, last night. Uh, Donald, I did put all of it together except for his beak. Um, and we were watching the video from last night with Kendall uh, putting these together and uh, Papa was watching her uh, today. She wanted to show him the video that she did and um, we found it kind of humorous the amount of tape that she used and when we were all done my husband looked at me and said well we know that the beaks aren't going to fall off um, but I had to clean them up today because the, everything was covered with tape. She just, she went a little bit tape crazy. But anyway, um, on Pluto, I did all of this in one piece. And I'm like, there's a little tiny piece of white chill in there. Um, Pluto, I did all in one piece from here up. And then this piece, which I can't remember if she was showing you on the video or not, this is a separate piece. And again, it makes it gives them the feel and the look of a uh, a true die cut. Goofy. I did the black background. I did the face, the teeth, and the eyes, and everything are one piece. Then I did the hat in one piece. I still did it all the print and cut because I still do them all on one sheet of paper. And I am, I tell you, I'm all about time saving because I work to, you know, between my Etsy shop and my, my um, other job, I work two full-time jobs. And to me, I've got to be able to get as much done as I can and dinking around with changing out all my paper colors. Um, is it's just not worth it to me and somebody had asked me about the amount of ink and uh, my husband went and got me ink today and I was trying to think how would I measure that well 
you can't. Um, I do my bill of materials on all of my items and bottom line is is you're never going to make what you put into it because you just can't. Um, you have to do it because you love it and um, you know the reason that when you go to Etsy shops and you look at folks and prices and things it's and I, I've been doing different sorts of crafts um, for years and years and years um, you have to do it because you want to uh, a lot of work goes into it regardless um, it, it doesn't matter I, you, I, I try and take not shortcuts but I try and be the most productive as I can because there's only so many hours in a day and although I'd like to think that I've been blessed with extras I haven't I still have the same amount as everybody else okay then I made okay I, I showed you last night the Mickey or Minnie um, her hands and face were printed as one and then the back was printed in one piece with the black um, I just did her I just did him I did him last night Mickey his whole face and hands all of that is one piece and all I did was cut out plain black cardstock for the, the rest of it um, this one goes over here this is a little left over I got some here that, that um, and that's another thing that I'll tell you with the silhouette and I think it's a, I don't think it matters with what software you're working with whether it would be the silhouette um, Cricut craft room it doesn't make a bit of difference what you're working with um, when you start putting a lot of activity on a mat um, and what I mean like by a lot of activity I'm going to use this one as, as an example that tag has my tags from bags tags boxes and more number two um, cut out then it's got a contour around it in black to just give it a really fine black outline then from the the um, Cricut Mickey and Friends cartridge I did a shoe these were the icons a shoe and the bow and um, I did a contour in white around the bow and a contour in black around the shoe well every single one of those contours and every single one of those colors is a it, it is a is a um, like an individual piece and then they're all layered, layered together and cut as one but it's a lot going on so I can fit nine of these on a mat however I tried and tried and tried with this with nine on a mat and it kept timing out it wasn't my computer or anything it's that the software as much as I love it and as good as it is um, probably was not designed for folks um, for some of the things that I do on it um, you know because it's just it's just a uh, some smells like it's burning in here and I know you can't smell it on the camera but I keep thinking I had my glue gun on and I shut it off but I still smell something like it's burning and I cannot figure out for the life of me what it is maybe it is just my glue gun I would think that's all it is. I don't have anything else to lit up in here. But anyway, I better double check when I'm all done. Or, I don't know, I move my lights around too. It's probably burning flesh um, from when I burned my lights or moved my lights around because they were really hot. And I grabbed one of Charlie's diapers to move it. Maybe that's what's burning. I don't know, but I smell something burning. So I'm not going to be able to go to bed night tonight now until I that small goes away and make sure something's not shorting out in here anyway got a little sidetracked um, and let me see here okay um, I told you about the gable boxes I got now what I did for the background papers is I used my my um, Sutter paper cutter I used a 12 inch sheet of um, cardstock and cut it in half using here and then this is only to cut in, thir in threes this has to be 12 inches long and it cuts it in thirds this is the only one that's adjustable 
But what I did is I put my um, 12 by 12 in here and cut it in half. Then I turned it the other way and I cut it in thirds. So I could get six sheets or six background papers that I needed for my um, boxes. And here are the boxes. Now I did this pattern that is for my mini. I did all Disney patterns or, or colors. I picked up colors that, that were on each one of the individual die cuts. Um, there are um, five of the minis. And this again, I cut these so I got equal um, sheets of or this to put right in the front of the box. So I've got five of that one for mini and I've got five of these. Which one did I decide I was using these on? That was mini. I think this one is oh this one is going to be I haven't put the box together yet but this is going to be for Goofy. Oh I'll put a box together. I have five of this little polka dot one that is going to be for Donald. I'll put him on top of those boxes and I'm going to put Goofy over here with those boxes because otherwise I'll forget what I'm doing. And then this, this glittery um, purple paper is for Daisy. And I already have a Goofy mini and Daisy box already done. So I'll show you those after I show you how I did them. I'll grab Goofy first. And I'll open up one of the boxes. Of course, I do not ship them all folded, but I'm just going to show you how these do fold together. Again, I got these boxes at um, from Hobby Lobby. They told me they only had two in stock when I called them on Friday. So I had to order them online to make sure that I had enough and and guarantee that they get here on time because I have to get this order out the door um, and be there by the 2nd of April, which is right around the corner. Anywhere they, they assured me they only had two boxes in the store. Well, um, so I called Hobby Lobby online, called them, got them to expedite and said they'd get it out and it would be here at Wednesday. Then I told my husband, just stop at Hobby Lobby on your way home from work and pick up the two packages that they have so I can at least have most of the order done so when the other ones come in, I can just get them out the door. So he comes home with three box, three packages. They have all, everything that I needed. I just get so un annoyed because sometimes people are so lazy because you know all they had to go do was go back there or call back there somebody that, in that apartment and ask them to please check you know, and um, her, her reasoning and what she was telling me was that they only order two packages at a time when they order them. Well, I wasn't asking her how many you order, because I didn't care how many you ordered. I was asking her how many they had. Well, if we only order two at a time, well, doesn't mean you sold them all. So anyway, how'd you like that? That was a little bit of whining there, but, um, I was happy in the long run because I got what I needed. Um, however, I just get so annoyed when, you know, how hard would that have been for her to call back there and just ask somebody, please just look them up and see what you have and grab them and whatever. But no, no, too much work, can't do that. So, oh, that was really whining. You know, I guess I'm old school because back in the day things were a lot different you oh I just did this wrong because this is for goofy um, what I do there's a little slit on the tag and I slide a ribbon through it then I kind of fold it like that and then I use my little um, Tim Holtz stapler love this stapler I think everyone should have one absolutely love it for crafting but it's the wrong tag I need the goofy tag and the Ugh, it's not even goofy. It's Pluto. Seriously. Pluto. Pluto. Good grief. 
I just can't keep it straight. And you know, guys, I'm, I'm not an idiot. I know who these characters are, but I have a lot going on up in this head of mine. Some of it's worth going on up there, lots of it in, not so much. But that's why I can't remember the names when I'm um, on the spot. Not only that, you know, people say folks that can multitask, multitasking is not really a true thing because people can only do one thing at a time regardless you know um, we'd like to think we're doing 10 things at a time we may be doing 10 things in the same hour but we're not doing them at the same time because that's humanly impossible but I do realize that when I'm working on these it is hard for me to stay focused when I'm talking. As much as I talk, you'd think I'd be used to it by now. But I lose track of what I'm doing because of, um, of the talking. So I probably should shut up when I'm videotaping. But probably it's not going to happen. Then I'm going to put the tag right up there. And these tags are going to be left blank because she wants to put the name of each of the child. Uh, each of, I keep saying each of the childs. Each of the children, kids, guests, children, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, she wants their names on each one of these boxes. So, there is Pluto. I'll show you all of them when I get them done. And then, um, what one was I doing? I got Mickey, Donald was one. Let me see how this is going to look. And Donald's tag is the little tag with his hat on the top of it. Um, again, how I decided on each one of these tags for Daisy, I can do Daisy, one of Daisy's right now um, because I didn't put it on her box. Um, for Daisy, I picked uh, a purse icon, a little purse, and it didn't have uh, just the plain purse and a little purple purse with a little pink, pink band on it. So what I ended up doing was um, I had a flower, um, a little flower cutout that I decided to print on the box just to give it a little, a little color. So, um, oh, my scissors are really going bad. Oh, I tell you, I am going to have to get a new pair. I just know it. And then I'm going to take my little Tim Holtz stapler and staple that on there. And this is going on my little daisy box here. Um, I'm unfolding them just to show you and to take a picture. They will ship flat. And there's my Daisy. The Daisy and the Mini are both going to have the um, tool ribbon around them. The rest will not. I don't think Donald nor Mickey nor Goofy nor Pluto really want a um, bow. So I there I have to poke this through this little tiny slit here. It's perfect for the ribbon, but it just broke that. But that's okay. You know why? It makes it easier because I slip it in here. And when I slip it this way and I staple it, I will staple it right over there. Right over that. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There we go. There we go. So, there we have that not even. There we go. Now we're going to put that on this box. Let me open this first. These are really nice gable boxes. I ordered some black and white polka dot ones that I absolutely love, and I normally do these on the black and white polka dot. However, they're really, really, really big, 
and you know um, for party favor boxes when they're really really large it's kind of hard to fill them for the kids I mean you know when you got a lot of kids at the party and you got a box that it's like packing a suitcase I really like these because the size is better and I almost think I prefer the white because then you can do anything you want to them. At first when she said white I thought oh I don't know and originally the plan was is I was just going to be putting the die cut on it with the tag however I emailed her tonight and asked her if I could put the background color in here just to give them a little bit more so they weren't quite so plain and she said yeah go for it so there's Donald so I have Donald here let me move this out of the way tomorrow I will be assembling boxes and then I have Pluto let me get these tags out of the way I've got 30 of these to do boxes are all tags everything's ready to go it's just a matter of mass assembling which I will do tomorrow because I'm gonna call it a night what do I do with my waste basket now gang you know what I just gotta stop moving things around then we have Daisy and we have Goofy and I did him on a green and white polka dot background like I had to tell you that because you couldn't see that and then we have the mini with the tool bow on it and the little tag with the shoe and the bow on it and then we have Mickey he's got a Mickey background paper these were some Disney papers that I had I didn't use all Disney um, because I don't know why I didn't I didn't have the colors that I wanted um, to use so I improvised and so what I will do now is line these up let me get these out of the way and like I said I got everything all ready to go and let me stick that over there you know unless you do this you do not realize how much space it takes to do this kind of thing it is absolutely crazy how much room you know I keep adding on and on and on and not adding on supplies as a matter of fact I've got less supplies but I'm running I just never have enough room okay there we go there are all the boxes there's Donald in his little tag and Pluto and Daisy and Goofy and Minnie and Mickey. How could I have to get mixed up on their names? I am uh, the biggest Disney freak alive. But there you go and I hope you enjoyed. You have a good night. Bye bye.